Hi there, this is Bruce from Safari and we're here today to have a look at uh, tank level uh, measurement. Now these sensors here actually measure the pressure of the liquid in the tank. And so you imagine if you've got a water tank here, and let's say it's a fairly shallow tank, only this high, you know, 350 mil high. Uh, this sensor is installed as close as possible to the bottom of the tank. Um, ideally, the drain bung at the bottom of the tank can be drilled and tapped and this quarter inch MPT can then be put into the drain bung at the, right at the bottom of the tank. And what the sensor here does is it measures the height of the liquid. So it's measuring the, the height of the water. It does it very accurately. This is within 2% of full scale. And then the Symarine system here that's actually measuring the tank volume in litres um, then uh, calibrates from that height into the actual lead volume in the tank. And there are up to 10 calibration points uh, available. And so the tank can be an absolute odd shape. It can be the, the, the front of the boat. It can be an RV tank that's stepped. It can have tapered size. And between this sensor and the Cymarine system, we get very, very accurate uh, tank measurement. Now there's three different sensors here. And uh, the difference in them is just the IP rating. Um, the lowest IP rating is this little baby here, which is an IP of 65. Uh, IP65 means it can take a direct water jet. Um, it can't have total immersion though in water, but it can have a, a full water jet on it. Um, and obviously uh, it's dustproof. Uh, this one here is IP67, means it can go into water up to about a meter deep for up to 30 minutes. And then the last one here is IP68, and this one here actually drops into the top of the tank. It doesn't screw into the side like these two. It drops into the top of the tank and drops down generally through the breather tube. And the sensor is inside here. And the bottom here can be unscrewed so that uh, it can actually be cleaned out. So if you've got a tank of any uh, liquid at all, so these can do uh, fuel, water, uh, black water, waste water, uh, virtually um, any liquid. Uh, with a density up to say 1.5 is fine that uh, we can drop in here and uh, th this one here that drops in can then be pulled out and cleaned stainless steel and it's uh, IP68 so it's totally suitable for immersion. Uh, the range on these um, varies but it's generally the smaller range that's more difficult to do. Um, so all three of these will do a range of even as low as uh, 200 millimeters in height you can't really get an arm in there with those uh, four little nuts on it into a small tank and they're only measuring four points and even the Wima tank gauge has a band of 30 mil uh, that it's measuring up and down the, the tank gauge as the small magnet goes up and down the gauge uh, whereas these here are really measuring uh, 2% which is uh, 2 mil in, in a metre high tank or 1 mil in a half metre high tank. Now a very very important thing on these two with the higher IP rating is that the um, cable here has in it a small tube. I'm just touching the tube here now. Now without that small tube uh, this sensor here just basically won't operate and uh, likewise on the IP68 one uh, here's the cable for it and here's the plastic tube sitting inside the cable. Now the tube, these sensors are differential pressure sensors, all three of them, and this tube is measuring the other side of the differential pressure. So if this is the IP67 here, is in the bottom of the tank, um, and you're immersed in water for a period of time doing a creek crossing for example, um, then this tube here is measuring the pressure um, outside of that. And it's because the liquid in the tank has atmospheric pressure above it, air above it, and we only want to have the liquid. So to take away the air pressure above the tank, we have the air pressure on the other side of the sensor. It's a differential pressure, and then it's measuring just the height of the tank. Now, all three of them are differential pressure sensors. Um, in this one here, IP65, the actual tube is in the, is in the cap here. It's right in the top of the cap here and uh, for IP65 that's sufficient. But for 67 and, and of course for 68 um, you have to have the cable with the differential pressure tube actually within the cable. Uh, these sensors here all run on uh, 12 to 24 volt and they all give out a uh, 0 to 5 volt 
uh, scale range um, uh, to three decimal places. And that's how we get the accuracy um, coming out of the sensor. It doesn't matter how long the cable is. Uh, these can be two metres. We've supplied these with 10 metres of cable in length. The, res the voltage drop on the cable is uh, consistent. The current flow out of this is tiny, really tiny. And so when you calibrate the tank, the cable length then becomes part of the calibration. Um, that's it. It's all contained in our sensor catalogue uh, that we have here. There are other ways of measuring tank uh, measurement, uh, but these are the pressure level sensors. Have a look at safari.com and uh, have a look at our Safari University. Thank you for watching.